A new technology which resembles the nib of a fountain pen will modernise the way pathologists diagnose cancer in the future, thanks to IBM scientists and pathologists at the University Hospital Zurich. The technology, known as a microfluidic probe, addresses some of the biggest challenges for pathologists in making critical decisions, including assessing how bad a tumour is and what therapy is recommended. Sometimes they also need to work with pinhead-sized tissue samples. Dr. Alex Salterman, a pathologist at University Hospital Zurich, explains. Very often we have only few cells, so typically if you have a long biopsy, the, the diameter of the biopsy is maybe two millimeters, and could be that in this uh, long biopsy we, found, we find only, let's say, 50 cells. So you have to make actually a diagnosis of malignancy based on, on few uh, less than 100 cells. Well, at least what we clearly see as a vision is, which is also in, already ongoing in some hospitals, is that we think that in the next five years, um, every patient will obtain his own personal, his own genome for his personal tumor, um, out of which one can retrieve uh, all relevant markers. And of course, this will guide the oncologist for the so-called personalized or targeted therapy, which is particularly designed for this uh, tumor. To improve the ability of pathologists to make an accurate diagnosis, IBM scientists in Zurich are relying on their decades of experience in designing silicon computer chips to help unravel some of the variations within tumors on the molecular scale. IBM scientist Govind Kegala explains how the probe works. The working of the MFP is actually quite straightforward. In its simplest form, there are two apertures, one to inject the liquid, other to aspirate it. And the outer liquid, in fact, shapes and confines the inner liquid. So what's quite fascinating is the volume of the inner liquid at a given time is no more than a few nanoliters. So with this few nanoliters of liquid, we are able to perform local chemistries and biochemistries on surfaces at micrometer precision. Dr. Peter Schrammel, who manages the tissue biobank at the University Hospital Zurich, explains how the probe will lead to more personalized treatment for patients. But uh, you can imagine that this part, which is about, let's say, half a centimeter times half a centimeter, contains thousands and thousands of cells. And it's still not pure enough for doing a really a reliable uh, molecular analysis, uh, especially if the tumor tissue is still heterogeneous within this area. So uh, what can be done then is to use the microfluid probe and narrow down the area of interest coming from a few thousand cells to a few 100 cells. And then we are really maybe on the safe side to do the molecular analysis and detect the mutations in the genes which are of great importance for the patients. The microfluidic probe will begin testing at the University Hospital Zurich in early 2014 and is partially funded by a systemsx.ch grant awarded earlier this year. This is Anne-Marie Cromack reporting.